All right. Hello and welcome, everyone. So today we're just going to be doing a quick and dirty guide on how to generate a sister of Parvos and get cracking on farming some of the new weapons. So for this video, uh, I'm going to be talking about what I would say is the easiest method for generating a lich and also is just a, a good method in general for at least most of the weapons that you're going to be generating. And that is Mesa. Mesa is very, very good at the Granum Void, which is where we're going to be going in order to generate these liches. For that, of course, you do not have to use Mesa, and Mesa is going to generate magnetic weapons, which I believe are one of the better end of choices for you to be creating. However, feel free to do this content with Protea or whatever other Warframe you want to do in order to get heat, which is what you'll get from Protea, or any other element you might be looking for to add to these weapons. You do not need to use a Warframe that specifically is very, very good uh, at clearing the Granum Void. Of course, you can always bring the Zorus, which you're, of course, going to have, because in order to start doing the Granum Void things, you need to complete the quest that gives you the Zorus. So, also, a build on the Zorus, like this one, is going to be absolutely perfectly fine. Uh, but, of course, if you're looking for a more budget build, you can go with this, and this is also going to get the job done, even at the higher end levels of the Granum Void. So... With that being said, let's go through the process of getting this done. First and foremost, the best mission by far to generate your liches on is on Pluto, and it is Hydra. This is a capture mission, and you're going to get a refund on the coins that you're going to be using to generate your liches from here. And it's a very, very quick, easy mission to do. So let's jump into here and show exactly what you need to do for any of you that have forgotten what the Granum Void is. Of course, you are going to need to do the uh, introductory quest and get the Zorus and everything in order to start doing this. But uh, it's pretty simple. But so first and foremost, of course, we are just going to go and kill our capture target. I mean, capture our capture target, of course. Obviously, I would mean that. We wouldn't do anything to harm the capture targets now, would we? We wouldn't we wouldn't shoot a shoot a very harmful beam into them. Of course not. Uh, secondly, if you already have one of your coins, your next objective is to immediately find one of the big golden hands, which are sometimes only spawning at the nearly the end of the mission. And right now that won't guarantee uh, you to get a sister because if you're too close to the end of the mission, they seem to not want to spawn. But it is supposed to be a 100% chance. So whenever DE patches that, assumedly, uh, it will be fixed. But you'll run into one of these golden hands. And what you need to do is you need to use a Zenith Granum Crown. Only Zenith will work for this. And then you need to get at least rank one. This scales based on the number of players in the mission. If you have a full party of four, you're going to need to get 150 kills. But generally, this is going to be very, very easy to do with any of the Warframes that are good at it. Uh, and also with the Zorus, you're going to be able to get additional time by killing the ghosts with the Zorus and then freeing the Solarians uh, that are here. But yeah, very, very easy to get at least rank one. Uh, with with mesa you know you're gonna pretty much hit your 75 as long as the spawn rate it wants to be friendly to you uh and it's not really a big deal of course you can also just pick up the little uh cubes that the enemies drop and that is going to give you more time and almost always will be more than enough time in order to complete this you can see those here although i guess i suppose they are triangles not cubes yeah just mowing down these ghosts with mesa we're already well past the 25 we need, of course, uh, in order to finish this, but we'll just get to 75. Getting to 75 is generally going to be a bit faster, uh, just because the moment you hit 75, it is going to kick you out. We're going to have an energy. Let's throw this. There we are. There we go. We're at 79, way, way in there, and it'll immediately boot us out. Only took a minute. Uh, and then now that we have done that, our Lich can spawn. So we can just head towards the end of the mission. I would tell you to generally go a little slowly. Uh, while you're headed there because otherwise there's a chance if you hit the actual end of the mission the lich won't properly spawn as of right now of course i do think that's going to get fixed uh, but you will see the lich spawn then you can just take them down and wait for the lich this one has the tenant detron so i can either choose to leave the mission and because i don't want this weapon or use the secret mercy to acquire this weapon uh, i don't have the detron yet so i'm just going to grab it you'll do the finisher and then that will be your new Lich. Now, importantly on this mission, uh, you will also get a Granum Coin Carrier, which is going to refund that Zenith Crown that you put into the Golden Hand. So, on our way out of here, he should spawn in uh, and not really be uh, too much of an issue. Then we can just kill him super fast. 
Uh, there's a variety of weapons that work very well on them, and outside of the Steel Path, they're not too hard to take down, especially if you're looking to go after the Corpus Liches. But it should not take too, too long for him to show. Apparently just, like, eliminating some random enemies is... There we go. There he is. So he spawns in, blast him, and then grab the Zenith coin. So now we have generated a Lich, and we have not lost any resources, and we got, you know, the extra drops from the Granum Void and all that good business. And whenever we head back, uh, we are going to see if our Lich has an Ephemera or anything like that, and be able to get started on our Lich. Of course, this is also how you get the Stalta, so if you're looking to get that very good weapon, this will also help with that. Yeah, this is the mission I would definitely recommend for anyone looking to generate liches and hunt through them. And I would say it's probably going to be the most popular node for doing so if you're going to be getting into a party. Crank those shields all you want. It won't make any difference to me. There we go. So yeah, now we have our lich. Look at their stats and all that good business. A nice little 35% magnetic detron. But yeah, and then all you have to do is go through the regular process of defeating them. Uh, and we'll talk about the good stuff for defeating them in a separate video. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this small guide on how to get the Sisters of Parvos to actually be activated and ready to hunt. And I will see you tomorrow.